We're going to make sure that our stylus is on the right hand side, about three, a half inch out, give or take, as we're going to adjust that manually and make sure our L adapter is in place and our jaw one is in position and locked in. On the software, we're going to click operations, calibrate machine. We're going to select jaw number one because that's what we're working on. Verify that we have the L adapter in place and that we're about to start calibrating. We wish to continue. Move over to the position. We're going to lower our handle for our Z axis down till we touch our jaw. Back it up slightly just to where we're still above the jaw but below the L adapter. And once we're where we want to be, we'll go ahead and click enter on the keyboard, allowing the X axis to calibrate. The styles will touch the calibration L adapter and break continuity. And if you look at the screen, it says, do you wish to calibrate the x-axis agreeing to what we just did? Yes. It will now move to start doing the y-axis calibration. A little bit longer travel there. Back at our screen, it's asking us to agree with the uh, what we've just done, so we'll click yes. We'll send our tables back home, and then the screen will say here a moment, update in progress. Please wait. Do not touch the machine or the computer during this process until this. Don't touch process. anything at all. So it says update complete. There's one moment here, and it should appear after it locks these into the computer. Calibration complete. We can now click OK. Come back to the machine and raise our handle, at which time we can now flip our tracer down and we will go to the screen and hit operations, calibrate tracer, and it asks us the same question, make sure the L adapter is in place, that we're about to start calibrating, yes. Back on the screen, we're going to select one again for job one, and now it will start to automatically calibrate the tracer. There is no manipulation for the handle for this process necessary. It's the same thing as before. We'll agree to this axis. And it will come forward to do the Y axis now. Pretty quick and easy procedure. Okay. Yes, we wish to agree with what it just did. Yes. So update progress again. Please wait not touch anything as during this process. All right, now we are calibration complete after it did that process. So we're going to click OK. We now will remove the L adapter, set it to the side because we're done using it for now. We'll flip up the tracer. On the lower right hand corner, we're going to click Y position to bring our Y home. We're going to remove the jaw. Remove the jaw so we can put the cutter in so we can calibrate the cutter. So what we'll do now is we'll take our stylus out, putting it on the left side, about a half inch out. Put our cutter in on the right side, up into the stop ring. Once we're to that ring, we're right, right down. Put our jaw one back on the machine. In this process, we're going to actually go back over and raise the stylus up a little bit more, and you'll all see why in a moment. So now, we're going to tell the machine, calibrate cutter. Once again, confirming which jaw we're using. We'll move over, and what we will do is lower the handle, tighten it in place once we're touching our adapter on the right. We'll go to our left side, loosen our stylus, pull it down while holding in the sides of the shaft, we'll tighten it up. I'll let go. Now we'll go back to our screen, and we'll click OK. If you're done calibrating cutter, please lift the cutter. So we're going to go lift our handle because we're now calibrated for jaw number one. And now we're done with jaw number one. We'll move to jaw number two. Loosen the jaw. Remove it. Grab our jaw. We're going to remove our cutter from the right hand side. 
set that off. And instead of removing the stylus from the left to put it on the right, I actually have an extra one here. So we'll go ahead and split this into position. And tighten it up. This is a one procedure calibration for jaw too. So we'll slide our jaw in so it stops. So we'll tighten it up. Make sure that we tighten our jaw with A facing to the left here. The engraved A will always face towards the left. At that time, we will go in and tell our computer to start calibrating the machine. So for the jaw two, we're only going to go calibrate machine only. We will select two for jaw two and hit enter. It will now move into position. We will lower the jaw handle or the Z handle, I'm sorry, until the smaller part of the stylus is actually on the flat surface of the jaw here. We don't want it on the bevel, we want to get it on the flat. So once we like where we are... Is that where you like it? Yes. Because we are touching a flat surface. Are we? So, yes. Yes, we are touching the flat wall. So once we're verified, you look a few different times to make sure you're good. You're going to please lower the cutter and start again. Now it will move over to touch the A face of the jaw. We're going to click yes to calibrate the x-axis to agree with what we just did and now it's going to do the Y. It says do you wish to calibrate the y-axis? Yes we do. That locks us into position what we just did. We are now fully calibrated for both jaws on the matrix retro. It says update progress please wait. We will wait a moment before touching anything. And we have calibration complete. We'll make sure that we get our calibration stylus back off. So we'll take our jaw off. We'll take our calibration stylus back off. And now we're set up for whatever jaw we would wish. So we'll go ahead and put our high security back in there and make sure we push it to the stop ring. We'll snug it up. Put our jaw back in place. And now we are all ready to go. Lift our handle, put us back in position. And that is your calibration process for the Matrix Retro. Thanks, Garrett. You're welcome.